Now we are going to do two things in this video. One, we are going to create a brand new blank Excel workbook. Now this is going to be the main file tab that uh, you will work with as you venture and you work inside Excel itself. And the second thing is that we are going to uh, take a look into the interface that makes up the working environment that you're going to be all over inside as you work inside the Excel workbook. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now here is the splash screen open. Now let me just click on the blank workbook. And this is sort of the main working area where you work in Microsoft Excel. In this particular workbook, let's just go through an overview of the main components or areas that you will be working with. Of course, we will go into the details in our upcoming videos, but let's just have a look at what all areas are there, which you should be familiar with. Now towards the top left hand corner of the screen, uh, you will see something which is called as quick access toolbar. Now these are some of the common shortcut uh, commands that you can quickly get access to. So for example, if you are using Office 365 environment, you will have something called as auto save. If this is switched on, it will auto save your document in the cloud environment that you're connected with. And then you have the same button, save button, where you can save the file quickly instead of going into files and then clicking on save. All right. And then you have undo and redo buttons, which are not highlighted yet because I have not started working on anything. Now, now there is something called as touch or mouse mode now based upon the environment that you're working in uh, be it your tablet or a touch screen a laptop now you can change the mode over here so right now we are on the no in the normal mode which is the mouse mode so if i click on the touch mode you will see that the layout of the ribbon and of the of this excel actually changes it becomes a little broader because uh, on the touch screen i have to work with my fingers right based on the environment that you're working in this might be enabled or disabled in your system System, okay so let me just switch on to the mouse mode now there is a, a little drop down over here you can actually customize this quick access toolbar you can actually enable or disable some of the other shortcuts that you have so for example I can click on email then you, you know the email icon will be shown on the quick access bar similarly if I want to shorten it I can just remove uh, those access and just keep the ones that I regularly use now just below the quick access toolbar you will find the ribbon. Now, if you have been working with Microsoft Office applications, you would be quite familiar with this ribbon concept because this is available in other Office applications like Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. Now, this ribbon feature has been available since version 2007. So if you're working with that, you might be quite familiar with it. Of course, as you change the applications, like for example, Excel versus Word versus Outlook versus PowerPoint, the actions available within the ribbon uh, would be different. But the concept is the same that this is the ribbon and it contains a lot of tabs. Now, some of the tabs that you see over here in the screen, for example, developer tab, you might not see that right away in your application because you have to enable these kind of tabs uh, from uh, the file options. But we'll come to that a little later in our upcoming videos. All right. So let's just have a look at some of the tabs over here in Microsoft Excel. So we have over here our home tab, which is now divided under various sections like clipboard for copy and paste, changing my font, the font section, changing the alignment. We have all the actions related to the alignment, number, styles, cells, and whatnot. Similarly, if you go to uh, formulas, you will find various uh, sections or actions which are um, you know, useful for functional library, you're defining your names, formula auditing, or for calculations. So similarly, there are various tabs which are then divided into various sections. I highly recommend that you uh, right now just go ahead and have a look into these different sections within each tab yeah and based on the environment that you're working in uh, for example if you're working in Mac or in any earlier versions of Microsoft Excel you might find uh, a little bit uh, of changes uh, in the UI but the concept is the same so just go ahead and have a look into those tabs and the sections that are available uh, in those tabs all right now just below the ribbon there is another section called uh, the formula bar now this is divided into two parts one is the name bar which is over here which is the name box and then this is the formula box where you actually type your formulas okay now this is one of the most important toolbars available in excel that you would be using quite regularly 
but it happens many a times where you might not see this formula bar over here or you might have accidentally switched it off so to be able to view this you have to go to the view uh, tab over here and under that you will find uh, the formula bar option over here so if this is unchecked uh, the formula bar is not visible so in that case you can just check this formula bar and it will be visible since it's a very important toolbar I would recommend uh, you to let it uh, be visible if not or if it takes space you can also you do have an option to hide it as well okay just another tip uh, so for example um, you know if you're working on a screen a smaller screen uh, where this ribbon is taking a too much space there is an option to hide the hide the ribbon so for example if you are on the insert tab just double click on the insert tab and you will see that the whole ribbon is uh, now hidden uh, and if you double click it uh, now if you double click on the tab again you will see that the ribbon is now available so this is a small trick where you can hide and also unhide the ribbon section to save some space so let's just stop over here and why don't you go ahead and get a feel of the user interface the quick access toolbar the ribbon the tabs and just have a look around it and just get a feel of it and of course uh, we'll go into the next videos and discuss a little more about Microsoft Excel all right